Bowling is one of the sports where anybody can go up and really throw a ball. As soon as you can basically pick up an eight-pound bowling ball, you can go out for bowling. It's the fastest growing sport in the U.S. 53 million bowlers bowl about once a week on a regular basis. We have some kids that are really serious about it, that want to bowl into college and even pass that if they want to. We have some kids that just enjoy bowling on the weekends that want to give the sport a try. So we really draw all kinds of crowds into the sport. And the beautiful thing is you can bowl all your life, whereas some sports that are more physically demanding, you have to stop at a certain extent. about it. Like I enjoy every aspect of it all the time. I guess my favorite part would be the people. It's nice having those people you click with. You have a common a common thread. It's great because I can joke around with all the girls, but at the same time, like we all know when to buckle down and really zero in on it. Honestly, I've been told I look really angry, but I'm not angry. Like I'm just I'm really focused and there are some shots where it's all seriousness. That's just how I bowl. I have kids that go off for the program that have never touched a bowling ball. Then I got kids like Madison who live, eat, breathe, sleep bowling. They'll bowl tournaments and sometimes bowl up to 15 games on a weekend. It started with my great grandmother and it went down to my grandma and mom and dad both bowl. So, you know, they kind of started me really young and I stuck with it for 13 years. I had an idea going into high school. Um, I was really looking forward to bowling on the team and getting to the next level. I'm going to St. Ambrose University to bowl collegiately. I tried the other sports, but I'm not really a runner. It's one of those sports where you can do it as young as you want and as old as you want. So you can do it with family, you can do it with friends and anything. Freshman year I did basketball and oh boy, my 30 seconds of playing time really made a difference on the team, let me tell ya. I have come a long way since my sophomore year when I joined. You don't have to be too athletic to do it. It's not too strenuous and it was like, it was nice. It was just a nice fit for me. And it's not always easy, but I was good at it. And if you love it enough, you're gonna stick with it, essentially. A bowling team consists of six bowlers. Um, each of the six bowlers bowls two games, and then after that's done, then we bowl a thing called Baker Games, where we take the, the top five bowlers, and each bowler will bowl a frame. So each bowler will bowl two frames each game, and it's, it's a lot of fun. The crowd really gets into it. We hear a lot of cheering. Sometimes you can't even hear the conversation with the person next to you. It's just so much excitement. So fall, winter, and early spring is usually bowling season, and that's like tournaments every weekend, and it's really fun. We take it very seriously, but I think in a more friendly nature. Um, I, I see a lot of teams that'll cheer each other on, give high fives to other teams. That's what really makes it the fun side of it. It's not all seriousness and quiet. We each have our own unique cheers. So inclusive, it's very, very different. It's not like at a football game or a basketball game. Everybody's just kind of cheering for everybody, and it's, it's really, really cool to see. There's an internal drive of we want to be the best that we can. We want to fight and make it to the state tournament, and there's that drive as well. Okay, girls, come here. The oil is carried down the lane. I want all of you to maybe move a little bit to the right, maybe half a board or one board, and just slow everything a little bit down to give your ball some time to react and get up to the pocket. Bowling is, is much more scientifically um, designed than, than a lot of sports. There's thousands of different kinds of bowling balls, and they all do something different. The cover stock, the surface of the ball, they're designed to absorb oil and react to the lanes. The lanes are synthetic as opposed to like wooden lanes that break down much quicker. There's, there's a lot of different adversities in the bowling. When you're bowling, it's only you up there. Like, so it's very nerve wracking. And it's very, I used to get so nervous. Like my sophomore year, it was so bad. Like I'd be like so scared and I'd be really shaking, you know, because everyone's like watching me bowl. Like I have to do well. Like you're there to watch the team, but like on a basketball court, you're watching everybody. Everybody's handling the ball. When you, when so-and-so passes to the next person, you're watching everybody. For bowling, you're like, it's individualized, I guess. Yeah. 
I know a lot of bowlers that will bowl up into their 80s or 90s. It's, it's truly a lifelong sport. I plan to go to the University of Iowa uh, to study nursing and like minor in Spanish. Unfortunately, the University of Iowa does not offer a bowling team. They have a bowling club, so I think I'm gonna do that. It's been in my life forever, and it's, it's just always been a part of me. Met a lot of friends, a lot of friends in bowling, and it's, it's taken me farther than what I even thought. It's always gonna be a part of me. It always is. I put a lot of time into it to just let it go. And it's definitely gonna be something that if I do end up having kids someday, I'm definitely gonna pass it down. It's gonna continue with me and it's, it's a nice atmosphere to be around.